Okay, as we discussed in the other one about fuses, very, very important. One, fuse dash one one seventy amps is going to the control unit for electronic power steering. This is the control unit. Now let's say I'm I'm not familiar with these type of diagrams. Is there an easier diagram than I can find the fuses? As I said before, this is the this is the power distribution circuit. In other words, it tells you the fuses and it tells you the systems that is that it goes to. For example, here is the fuse. Come down each branch. This is the system that this feeds. Electronic power steering. It's an EPS that we just made a video on. Now, if you're worried about the vacuum modulated unit, you are, you're going to deal with this fuse. So, these things are the dotted lines are the systems that these fuses go to. Okay? Alternator goes to this fuse. 125 amp fuse. We know that an alternator needs the biggest fuse, obviously. So, now, we come down over here. We have a electronic power steering. We went to, we think it's the fuse for whatever reason, right? Where's the fuse for electronic power steering? We come over here, A2, that's the one that it's connected to on the control unit, the, the module itself. We come back over here, fuse 1-1 is 70 amps. That's a lot of amps. Remember, there's a, remember, the higher the amps, the more problems you're going to have. So therefore, if we look over here, let's say, let's go over here, AC compressor, clutch relay. We have a problem, we believe, with the relay that we, that we spoke about yesterday. Which fuse am I dealing with? 27, 22, or 21? The correct fuse is 25. How much should I measure at both ends? 12 volts, 12 volts here, 12 volts here, if the fuse is good. Now... Let's say headlight washer relay. I have a problem with the headlight washers, right? So you have these, these, these wipers or these washers for the headlights. It's not working. I want to look for the fuse. Which fuse should, uh, should I deal with? First, we look for the system. Here's the system in the dotted line. Headlight washer relay. This is the wire, the red wire, and it goes through a fuse 3-4 38. Don't make a mistake and think this is 34. No, this is 3 4. How many amps? 30 amps. How much should I measure on both ends? 12 here and 12 here. Let's take it a little further now. Okay, now let's say I put my scanner. I put my scanner on or my code reader. Let's say I get a, a check engine light. I put the scanner on. And I don't have no communications, nothing. Can it be the scanner? Well, you know what I'll do? I'll put I'll try another code reader. Guess what? I still don't read anything and no communications. Why? There is that connector on pin 16, if you can see it over here, which is a white one in this one. That's where the 12 volts goes. Data link connector is where you put the scanner to. That pin 16 is always, always the 12 volts. Where is it coming from here? Let's come back here, through here, through this fuse. Through fuse 29, which is 10 amps. Which also goes through the alternator fuse. If this alternator fuse blue, you're gonna use you're gonna lose the alternator. So this fuse is responsible for Again, come down here, 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 data link connector. So therefore, if you do not have 12 volts at that pin 16 in that connector under the, the, under the steering column, you will, you're wasting your time putting a code reader, a scanner. That scanner can cost $10,000. If you don't have 12 volts here, it is totally useless. So which, which fuse would you go to then? Fuse number 29, 10 amp fuse. Not too much, 10 amps. But remember, it's also connected to other things also. So this is the way you look at it. If you need this type of uh, diagram, always find, first always locate the system. If I'm looking for the F1 system, first I'll look over here. I don't, I don't worry about the fuses. I look for the systems. I look for this relay control module, auxiliary under, alternator, 
uh, VSA modulator. We just discussed it about this. If I'm having a problem with the starter, where am I looking at? Right here. And I'm going to here. Remember, the thick wires means there's more current. See thick wires? This is thicker. T102 is a thicker wire than these. You see this dark black? Means there's more current over here. Why is there more current? Because there's the alternator going back. So I hope this was helpful. I made another video about this. So please subscribe to my Automotive or Trial Schematics by Joseph. And you'll, if you need hands-on or you want to see some hands-on videos, how to test batteries, how to test alternators, how to test um, mass airflow sensor, those type of things or about printed circuit boards, please go to the channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto, and you'll see some hands-on. Anyway, thanks for watching.